I knew of him and I actually supported him from the distance, uh, but I met him in the heady days of the Velvet Revolution, um, just around Christmas of 1989. Uh, that's before uh, he became president, and it was still the old regime, but it was the last days of the old regime. And uh, we met with, um, I was with uh, 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 Prince uh, Kari Schwarzenberg, who was uh, a human rights activist, was I think chair of the European Human Rights Commission, and of course an old uh, Czech uh, aristocratic family. And the two of us went to to Prague and um, uh, met with Chalfa, who was then the head of state. And we had a very interesting conversation with him where he said that he wanted to hand over a power that he felt that the uh, communists have lost their legitimacy. And uh, actually that was the first that Havel learned that he, he was going to become uh, a president. Uh, because um, you know, Chaffa said that he has enough power to hand over in a peaceful uh, manner. And uh, it was really a very exciting, beautiful uh, spirit at the time, you know, sort of peaceful transition. That's why it's called the Velvet Revolution. And then I stayed in touch with him uh, in the visited him fairly often in, in the first years of his presidency.